How you guys doing? Chris Signato here. You're watching Nature Now. So today, I'm actually going to talk to you about something a little bit different, but it's so awesome I just had to share it. It's about an app called Seek, and it's by iNaturalist. This thing is invaluable. What makes this app so awesome is the fact that it's really good for identifying species of plants, birds, insects, other invertebrates, whatever it is that you find in the wild, you just open up the app and then you point your phone using the camera on the app itself at the uh, species that you're trying to identify. And what it'll do is you'll see these little dots building up until it gets to, you know, fills the whole bar. And that's when it's actually pinpointed to the species you're trying to identify and it'll tell you the name of it. But that's not all this app does. Now once you've recorded your observation, you can then click on it to review all sorts of information about it. Information such as facts and key notes about the species. It even includes a range map and information where other people have found the same species. It includes species taxonomy. It even goes so far as to tell you if others have observed the same species in the area you just made your observation. The time of year you're most likely to encounter it and related species in the same group or genus. As soon as you open it up, it'll actually tell you some of the species that you might find in your immediate vicinity. In this case, it's going to tell me that I'll probably see some monarch butterflies, American pokeweed, black swallowtail butterflies, even the eastern tiger swallowtails. It also tells me that I might find a spotted lanternfly and maybe keep my eye open for that. Now please know that Seek does not share your location or personal information with any other companies or apps, but what it actually does do is when you identify a species and take that photograph, it holds it in your database so that you can look back at all your finds and discoveries, but it's all rather confidential. That's really cool. Now what got me to join this app is actually a little bit of a funny story. One night, myself, and one or two other uh, naturalists did a program at work about beetles and insects. We set up some lights and had the public there and stuff. It was really cool. Well, after everybody left, the three of us were sitting there at these sheets and looking around for insects and things, and they're using their phone. So, my friend Dana, who I must say is a really awesome guy, and he's rather inspiring in many ways. Just really cool. But uh, he's sitting there with his phone, and while I'm trying to take a picture of this moth or something, I hear him in the background saying, oh, I just leveled up. And I was just like, wait a minute, what? What do you mean? And he's like, I leveled up. And I'm like, you're telling me that you can level up on Seek. Like, you know, gain experience and stuff. And he's like, oh yeah. And I was just like, okay, that's it, I'm signing up. I gotta do this, it sounds like a game, and this sounds awesome. But the app also offers all sorts of challenges and badges that you can earn. Some of the challenges include things such as the community challenge. Add observations with the Seek camera to earn our planet badge. Find six different plants, find any three grasshoppers, crickets, locusts, butterflies, moths, caterpillars, or plant-eating mammals. Find two different arachnids, find two fungi, and then it's got actually a little bit of a write-up, and that's just under the community challenge. You know, that's just one of the many challenges that Seek has to offer. So, admittedly, I got really addicted to this app, and after three or four weeks, I kind of maxed out on leveling up at 160 species. Yeah. But that's not the end of it. It still keeps count of the species you find. I'm up to like 180 now. I did slow down a bit. And uh, it still offers challenges and other things to, uh, you know, try to achieve. You know, different species badges like fungi and mushrooms, you know, amphibians and reptiles, plants, insects, mollusks, which is a very hard thing to do. Every time I find a mollusk, I has a lot of trouble identifying them. Um, but the leopard slugs are pretty easy, so there's that. So of course, I've already stated the obvious things. This is a great application for helping you to identify species if you're wondering what they are, but it's very rewarding because you get to level up. So even if it's a species you already know, it's really fun to collect them. Kind of reminds me of a bit of a game that we all play. You know what I'm talking about. Hmm, I wonder... No, no, never mind. But another great thing about this is the fact that you can go out with your families for, say, an afternoon on the weekend, each using the app to see who finds the most species or, you know, complete challenges. Then also sort of compete 
or share your finds with your friends, and that's a lot of fun too. It's really great, as I said, it's a really great app for connecting with your family, great for family activities, and things to do with your girlfriend or boyfriend. These Blue Jays are relentless at the moment. They just won't quit. Now, of course, like all apps, Seek isn't 100% reliable. Sometimes it has trouble identifying a species, something like frogs, snakes, and salamanders. I don't know why, it just seems to have a lot of trouble with them. And then there are some species that just haven't really been uploaded enough in the database yet. You know, it's not the oldest app out there. So just be patient. When you're trying to identify something, try going back and forth with your phone you know, getting slightly different angles and things until it gets a solid information and tells you what the species is. If that doesn't work, just be patient and try it again in the future. Something I really like about this app is each time before you start seeking with it, it'll remind you to be safe, aware of your environment, and not to be trespassing or anything like that. I can't help quoting the famous words of the crazy Russian hacker, safety is number one priority. So there you go. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm glad that you took the time to actually learn about this wonderful and amazing app called Seek. I really hope you guys join it, and if you do, let me know in the comments below on what some of your finds and experiences are with the app. It's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to connect with friends over a shared enthusiasm for the wild places out there. So once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Over there in now, speaking of apps, of course I'm also on Instagram. I would love you to go over there and follow me on Instagram because not only do I post updates on some of the videos I'm filming, but I also share a lot of the amazing discoveries I'm making out in the field and sometimes with the help of the Seek app. You know, I have a lot of good photos on insects, frogs, salamanders, beautiful pictures of some of the environments and habitats I'm lucky enough to explore and it's just a lot of fun to connect with people on Instagram so I'd really appreciate that.